They are the ten runners and riders in a contest to choose the next Tory leader and our next Prime Minister. Only two women, one from an ethnic minority, six who went to Oxford University, two to Eton. Thoroughly modern Britain? Maybe not. But the country's first woman Defence Secretary, Penny Mordaunt, today announced the man she backs to win. My name will be on Jeremy Hunt's nomination papers today. And the Foreign Secretary had a very stark message for his party. If we fight an election before delivering Brexit, we will be annihilated. Is there any deadline for you on Brexit talks that means anything. We have to operate in the realms of what the credible options are. If we go to the EU and start threatening them with a no-deal option that they know Parliament is going to take off the table, and that is not a credible way to start a negotiation. Hunt is a serious challenger, so too is the Environment Secretary Michael Gove, who also claims that only he can deliver Brexit. But three years on from that vote, we still haven't left. People feel exasperated, scunnered as we say in Scotland. But Goh's progress has been knocked by his confession that he took cocaine when he was a journalist 20 years ago. You know, as a former education secretary, that if a mature adult teacher said they had taken Class A drugs, they would be risking being disqualified as a teacher. Why is that not a disqualification to be Prime Minister? If someone had said that before they entered teaching they had made mistakes, that would be no bar. And there's been some misreporting about the way in which actually there's, um, uh, those terms apply to teachers. But Gove used to be in charge of the whole criminal justice system. I would ask anyone to judge me on the basis of what I did as a reformer at the, sec at the Department of Justice in order to ensure that we could find that treasure in the heart of every man, that we could take broken lives, put them back together and transform the existence of some of the most unfortunate in our society. Now, what some might call the elephant in the room is Boris Johnson, the candidate everyone has to beat, whose leadership prospect Gove stymied last time round in 2016. Mr Johnson, whatever you do, don't pull out. <laughs> I know you have before. <laughs> and I know you may not believe in your heart that you can do it. But the Conservative Party membership deserve a choice. Esther and here's another one of the choices, Esther McVeigh, again on Brexit. When I hear people who say they're going to renegotiate it, what, through force of personality in a couple of months, what they couldn't do in three years, it is not going to happen. We have got to be honest about what the options are. We now must prepare for no deal. But not everyone was happy. But the Health Secretary, Matthew Hancock, at his leadership launch was, well, much more zen. No one really knows, no one really knows what that job is like until they walk through that door on Downing Street. But I do know this. You can only do that job if you know your heart. Rather less chilled out was the leading Brexiter, Dominic Raab. We've been humiliated as a country in these talks with the EU. Let's be honest about it. We're divided at home, we've been demeaned abroad. We face the real threat of a hard left Labour government under Jeremy Corbyn. The reason I've put myself forward to be Prime Minister at this time is because it hurts me to see our country laid low like this. Here tonight in one of Parliament's majestic yeah, committee rooms, uh, the starting gun fired. That the result of the first ballot will be available around 1pm this Thursday. Thank you very much indeed. So in just a few days, tonight's ten contestants will be whittled down to perhaps six or seven, at which point, with power scented, it'll all become brutal. Robert Peston, News at Ten.